Hey guys, Harsh here back in video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use the MQ2 gas sensor with Arduino Uno and display the readings of different things such as carbon dioxide, smoke and LPG on the serial monitor. So this will be just a basic video on how you can get started with the MQ2 sensor. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So obviously we will need our MQ2 sensor as you can see here it is and it does have four pins on them. So two are for the power, the VCC and the ground and there are two output pins analog output and digital output so in this particular video we will be using the analog output but uh, you can also use the digital output if you want to then obviously we will need our arduino board and this is the arduino nano that i have over here but uh, you can use any board that you like just make sure to select the right board in the arduino ide and then of course we will need some jumper wire to connect them so now let's see how we can connect it so as i said before we will be using three pins so as you can see the Rightmost pin over here is the VCC, so we'll connect 5 volts to it. So we'll just take the jumper wire here and connect it to the 5 volts on the Arduino. So you can see here it is written plus 5 volts. So we will connect it there. After that, we will take the ground and connect it to the ground on, on the Arduino, which will be right over here. Now we will connect the analog pin to A0, but uh, you can use any pin of your liking. You just had to change the pin number on the Arduino so you can see A0 is right over here so we'll connect it there as you can see now it is connected so that's about it for the connection so now let's go ahead to the computer and program this board so here is the code that we'll upload on the Arduino so as you can see I have included the mq2.h library and you can find this library in my description box below so once you install it it will be a zip file so all you have to just go to sketch and click on include library and then click on add zip library and from here you will be able to add your library then as you can see here we have defined the pin for the mq2 gas sensor which is a0 you can obviously change it to a1 a2 a3 or a5 or whatever you like but just make sure that it is an analog pin and here we can see we have just put the a0 value in the mq2 function over here then the board setup we can see we are now initializing the mq2 sensor over here and then the loop function we will just use this simple function which are mq2 dot read lpg read co2 and read smoke and store th the integer value in these variables and then print those variables in the serial monitor just like so and then here you can see we have a delay of two seconds so if you want to reduce or increase it you can just uh, do that by changing this number over here which is in milliseconds so now all we have to do is just go to tools select our board which is Arduino Nano it is pre-selected the processor at Mega328 and the COM port which will be COM4 in my case but in your case it might be different so make sure to select the right one and then click on upload the code and this will first compile the sketch and upload the code to the Arduino port so as you can see it is it says now done uploading so we can go ahead and open the serial monitor just by clicking this uh, button over here now on the serial monitor you will be able to get the values over here so as you can see we get smoke lpg and co2 in one line so there it is guys that's how you can communicate with the mq2 sensor and print the data on the serial monitor so thanks for watching this video and i have given all the codes and the circuit diagram in the description below so you can check that out so thanks for watching this video guys and i will see you all in the next video